gang! Welcome to my uh, YouTube channel. I'm excited to get ready for our online jewelry blowout event. Um, I'm getting a shop ready at the house and I need to downsize some of my stuff and my jewelry just takes up a lot of room. So some of the things that I will no longer be making, like earrings, uh, the dichroic bracelets, and some things that I just, I got to move out because I'm going in a different direction. So that's what's going to be up for sale today. I'm going to move kind of quickly, so definitely make sure you make use of your pause button and your replay button so you can go back and look at things a little bit closely. Every item will have a number. This is very important. Uh, when you make a sale, uh, if you send me a Venmo payment or a PayPal payment, please make sure that you put that number, what you're purchasing, uh, in the comment section. Or if you write to me and you're going to send um, a check or show up with cash, just make sure you keep that number handy. That's how we all know what you're purchasing. In the YouTube comments, I'll make a listing of what numbers are sold. So if you're interested, you can check that and see if it's been sold or not. Speaking of Venmo, PayPal, Venmo, there's no upcharge uh, because they don't take any service fees. However, if you use PayPal or if you use credit card, I do accept both of them. I will be doing an upcharge of 4%. So just know that that's coming. Another charge that we'll be incurring is the shipping charge. Each item, each package will be a $7 shipping charge. If you buy multiple things, I will combine that under the, the same shipping charge. But if it goes beyond $7, which I don't think it will, that's a pretty heavy box, um, I will be asking you for uh, another small fee to offset that. I'm taking huge, huge cuts on this. I, those are just charges that I can't absorb on top of those kind of savings. I hope you all understand. So all the links for payment, cash, check, Venmo, charge free, PayPal, credit card, there's gonna be a small fee, but all links are located in the um, description below on the YouTube channel. So without further ado, let's get this puppy started. Hey, <laughs> that's magic. Here we are. Uh, I'm ready to start showing off some of the jewelry that I'm going to be showing. I just want to reiterate. So first up on the agenda will be my earring selection. All the earrings are made with genuine stones, genuine pearls, Suvarsky crystals, and sterling silver uh, beads. Also, the ear wires are sterling silver, and I have a couple that have gold fill wires, and I have one pair that are clip earrings. Those, that information will all be noted on the photos that you see. Most importantly will be the number that you see up in the top corner. Please, please, when you are ordering or you're commenting or asking me questions, refer back to that number. Otherwise, I will have no idea what pearl earrings you want to discuss or order. Help me help you. All right. Thanks so much and enjoy.
So I hope you enjoyed the earring selection. Uh, next up is going to be my pendant selection. The pendants are all wired to their little cards. I have not unwired them all to show them to you. What I'm simply doing is sticking them on a little stick and holding them up like that so that you can see kind of in relation what they would look like on a body. These pendants do not come on a chain. They do not come on leather or hemp cord or anything. They're sold as is. It's up to you to decide what you want to do with them. Most of them are sterling silver wire wrapped. It's treated so it doesn't tarnish. I've never had a problem with it and I've been working with it for years. So again, I'm just going to throw up shots, give a little snippet about what it is. If you want to comment, order, or anything like that, please remember to include the numbers that you will see on there. It'll be a number sign, a letter, and a real number. I need all of that to tell me what you want to talk about or order. All right, let's get it started. with me into the night walk with me into the morning rain i want to feel the light i want to find the peace of mind that you can do the same if you like we'll find joy inside that it Well, kind of keeping in the pendant vein, we will go into uh, these dowsing pendants. I have five of them. They come just like so. Again, there's no, they're not on anything. There's not no cords involved. You just buy the little pendant. I've got five of them. They sold me this as turquoise. I can tell you right now, it is not turquoise. It's probably a magnesite dyed. I have another blue one. They're two different kinds of... Uh, blue. I will show you that. But uh, later on, you'll actually see one turned into a dowsing um, charm. I've got, it's a rainbow fluorite. It's beautiful. But so these are being sold separately. So those are the two different kinds of blues just to show you. I also have what was sold to me as halite. Uh, I can tell you that's not halite. That's probably a magnesite that's been dyed. But if you like them, um, you know, and they're useful, go for it. You know, they all look good on a leather cord. This is a rose quartz. That's pretty. That is definitely a rose quartz. And this one will be onyx. Again. So later on, uh, well, I'll be posting individual close-up shots of these next after I say goodbye to you so you can look at them really closely see all the details get the pricing information and I'll also put up a ruler that will show you exactly how long they are Welcome back. So in keeping with the dowsing charms and the one crystal printed, I am going to show you this. This is an, an original design. People were doing the one crystal pendant necklaces and I decided to come up with my own unique original design and this is what happened. It's two crystals with a little bit of excitement over here on the side. These are made with either Swarovski crystals, other stones, some of them, I think one of them has pearls. They all come on this ball chain. You can take this off of the ball chain and I've made the bail so it will literally fit on any necklace that you want. You can put it on keychains, zipper pulls, whatever you want. They're very, very durable. So I have three of these. So this is kind of what it's gonna, I don't, I don't know if this is in frame, but it will look like that. That's about how large it is sitting on your chest. 
on your person. I have a silver one. This has got power shell on it. I'll give you a little close up of that in a minute. This one is a more, uh, a bigger chain. The ball chain's a little bit bigger. I only have three of these and I think this one is, oh, this is carnelian. The other one was pearl, but that's carnelian. Really pretty, very sturdy. It's kind of interesting. So those are that. So let's get busy. Next up. Meditation dowsing necklaces, another BA invention. Stay tuned. Alrighty, so as promised, I am going to show you another one of my original designs. These came about, like I said, I have friends that use the dowsing tools. The problem was every time they went to go use them, they couldn't find them. They were buried at the bottom of their purses. They were in a drawer somewhere. They were wherever, just gone, nowhere to be found. So I thought, you know, those stones are so beautiful. I believe I could make something and still utilize the dowsing tool idea. So I came up with these, these meditation dowsing necklaces. I'm really, uh, w really big on the vibrational energies of stones. I know everybody's not, it's no big deal. It's my thing. So I came up with these meditation dowsing necklaces. Uh, the idea behind it is that each stone has a vibration to it and that would help you meditate. This is um, tektite. Actually, this is a really cool stone. It's the glass that forms when meteorites hit. So if you believe in extraterrestrial, you know, supposedly it helps you to tune into that. I'm not going to get into all the vibrational attributes of all my necklaces, stones, and bracelets. If you're interested, it's, there's a huge field out there of writing, check into it. So these meditation necklaces came from that whole thing. You can douse with these. You can meditate with these and you can wear them as lovely baubles. Of course, my hair is not up, so this is going to be, but you just take them, wrap them around your neck and then just loop them like so. Some people call those lariat necklaces. You can do that if you're not going to subscribe to the whole dowsing meditation thing. They're beautiful. They're on sterling silver chain. This one is. Most of them have some sort of accent stone uh, or Swarovski crystal. This one's made with Hill Tribe silver. That's a higher quality of silver. It's a 999 silver. It's better than your sterling silver. It does not tarnish as much as fast. It will tarnish, but not as fast. Also, I use the Karen Hill Tribe silver because I believe in helping other artists in other countries. I think that's very important. The Karen Hill Tribe people definitely need our help and assistance with what is going on over there. It's a freaking travesty what China's done to them. But their quality is just amazing. It's all hand done. Love this piece. I love it. It's citrine and amethyst stones that have been hand cut. So again, just really beautiful. I don't know if that can show you how far, I don't know where I am in the frame, but that's that one. I have another Hill Tribe. I only have two on Hill Tribe silver chains. There's this one and they are going to be a little more expensive. They're still a great price discount, but, um, just because the silver is such high quality, I can't really go too low. This one is Hill Tribe Silver Chain and Barrel Smoky Barrel Quartz. So another really lovely piece. I love it. Pretty, pretty. This cut really, really sparkles. It's all faceted. You probably won't get that in this LED light, but here is the little... I don't know if you can see the colors in that. That's uh, rainbow tourmaline. 
it's gorgeous but this is the one dowsing tool that I have sterling silver chain and this is fluorite so beautiful piece and great for dowsing mm -hmm. This is rhodonite with sterling silver, and it's got black spinel on it as well. And I did say it was sterling silver, so yeah. See yeah, the rhodonite on the different chain. So see, it's more of a, a longer link chain. Oh, look at here. This is my garnets. I love garnet. And Swarovski crystals. Again, it's on sterling silver. Really dainty, really beautiful. All the measurements and stones will be written in that little section on the picture, the still picture. Please don't forget, if I haven't mentioned it, the number that you need to tell me what you're buying of. I have several of these. I will be again doing still shots when I'm done talking and show you each one of these up close and in detail. So meditation dowsing necklaces, a BA original. So I'm going to take a little minute and pimp out one of the things I offer to my clients. <clears throat> and that is, uh, I fuse ashes of loved ones into dichroic glass and I can make pendants, sun catchers, or touchstones. To get me to that point in life, I had to journey down the path of making dichroic glass pendants which you will see in a moment. And I used them also for bracelets. This is my one bracelet I have for sale today. Uh, it's made for an eight or a nine inch wrist. This is one of the reasons why I don't do bracelets uh, because I have about a five and a half, six inch wrist. So whenever I make stuff and I try it on to, you know, see if it looks beautiful or if it's balanced or if it turns all the time, which you don't want, I was always making them for my wrist. Well, you know, normally people are more into the six, seven inch bracelets. So uh, it just kind of has lost its luster for me. So this is the dichroic glass piece. Dichroic glass is different than your normal fused glass in that there's really a depth and a sparkle to it. When you take this out into the sun or underneath the lights, it's just really amazing. So uh, I have wire wrapped that with um, check fire polished glass, little squares. The clasp is very easy to work. It's just like a little hook clasp. So very, very simple. You can do it with one hand if the light's not shining in your face. But uh, again, it's nickel free. So those of you with metal allergies should not have a problem with that. Mostly everything I do is so you can do it with one hand. I, it's just annoying when you have to have a second person in the house to be wearing or putting on your jewelry. I just don't believe in that at all. So one-handed put-ons is where I'm at. So next up, we will do the dichroic glass pendants. Okay, I'm back and I brought my dichroic pendants. These are on chokers. I think these are about 16 inch chokers. The, the pendants will definitely come off of the chokers, no problem. They're made with little holes. Some of them have bales on them. They've been wire wrapped. But if you don't like the 16 inch choker or maybe you don't wear a 16 inch choker and you wanna wear it lower, you can always take it off and put it on a chain or on most people wear like them on leather strips, uh, hemp cord, that kind of thing. But again, dichroic glass, hand fused by myself. And these fall right about here. So, you know, that's about what that looks like. So there's that one.
it's they're very this it slips inside that tube and it really kind of locks in so but that when using the chokers that's about where things are going to lay up at that height i took it off that the choker just to show you what it looks like on the leather cord this is a self-adjusting cord you can make it longer shorter whatever you like but let's make sure we get the right one on. so see i don't even know if that's going to be in the shot it might come down too low is that better you can see but you can make that shorter or longer just by moving it with that one little disc in the back so there you go i'll be doing close-up shots of everything um, when I say goodbye to you, just remember that little number in the top tells me what you are interested in. Thanks, guys. We'll be back. What are we coming back with? We're going to be doing necklaces. I think we're doing necklaces now. Oh, no, I've got one little set of uh, bracelets, the link bracelets coming up. Whoo, doggy. Those took some time. <laughs> So now we are going to move into bracelets. These bracelets, I'm not wearing properly. <laughs> Bringing them down into sets of four and selling them off as sets of four. Why am I showing you these? Well, they're gonna be better seen in the still life photos uh, because I can't sit here and show you me wearing each one of them. But what I wanted to show you about them is they are pretty much one size fits all. They're made with the sliding knots if you've bought some of my stuff, you know that I do this just because I like everybody to be able to buy something without having to worry. Is it going to fit? Is it not going to fit? So these are on sliding knots. So you just shorten them or you can slide them and open them. So again, they're all genuine stones. Some of them have, so I don't know. They don't have Swarovski crystals. They just have stones and check fire polish glass, which there is a big difference. People laugh at me when I talk about check fire polished glass it lasts so much longer and holds the sparkle so much better than your normal crappy chinese glass beads it's the quality is there it is better and that is why i always mention it so yes so the next four no the next 12 photos will be of these i've broken them down into uh sets of four a b and c i think just reference that number if you have questions or want to purchase, thanks. Okay, so moving, moving right along. I do have these two bracelets they are my own design i've put them i put a reinforced metal piece in here a little metal wire so they will sit on your wrist like a bangle one is that this one's a six inch this one is made with rose quartz and swavarsky crystals he's a skull and like i promise always an easy easy clasp you can so easily put that on one-handed uh so there he is little guy And that one is, this is a Bloodstone Jasper. I actually made these for the Walker Stalker Convention. I have, I was a vendor there one year. And these are the last two guys that are left. Again, a wire. This one's a little bit larger. I believe this will fit. The measurements will be on the, the still life photo, but I believe it's a seven inch bracelet. <music> then we move into these lovelies. I am not going to show them all on my wrist. I will tell you that they are genuine stones, genuine pearls. They are all hand linked by myself. I made these suckers, I'm telling you. Time consuming, I'm into anything time consuming, but they look like this on. So again, different sizes. Your still life shots that come at the end of me talking in this little segment will give you the exact measurements. I'll have a little ruler in the photos with them. But I don't know, can you see that? I hope you can see that. It's weird, it's awkward. But those are the link bracelets. I have several of those. 
So hopefully they will all find home. necklaces now I have a couple of kind of just out there necklaces this one is uh, my bottle necklace it's my last bottle necklace get a good shot there it's from Peru it's Raku pottery so that means you do not want to put anything that is edible in this bottle but you can put ashes you can put sand you can put dirt uh, even people put oils in there it is liquid safe, not liquid safe, it's not liquid safe, but it will hold liquid no problems. However, if you take it and you put the cork in there and you lay it on a desk like that, eventually that cork will start to do a little bit of seepage. So don't do that. You can hang it on your body, you can hang it in your car, you can hang it on a door, you can pretty much hang it anywhere. I've put it so that it's made with the sliding knots so you can make it longer or you can make it shorter. These stones are snowflake obsidian and carnelian and it is just a super, super cool piece. Oh, I think I even see pyrite there. Yep, it's got pyrite too. So the tag on the card has all the information written down and all the vibrational uh, energies that are correlate to those stones. but. Just a really cool one, last one left. That this is another cool piece. Um, again, awesome, easy clasp. I think this is about a 20 inch necklace. I kind of made it so that it would be unisex, but these are vertebrae bone beads. They're fair, it's a fair trade bead from Gambia, South Africa. So again, I'm supporting other artists. I know that glares in the, so it supports other artists in another country, carnelian beads, just a really cool piece, great unisex piece. I find little boys really dig that. The beads are treated in such a way that they do not have any kind of odor or anything like that. It's just a bead. This is about an 18 inch, yeah, probably 18 inch. Again, the vertebrae, and it's made with hematite. Again, super duper easy, easy clasp. Anybody can work it. It is not silver. It is a, I think it's like a surgical steel. It does not tarnish and it will not, it does not have nickel. So for those of you with skin allergies, probably pretty good. I have had some people that had issues with that, but typically not a problem. So vertebrae, really cool, huh? Oh, one more piece in the bracelet field. Let's take a moment and go back to bracelets. Bracelets, little skull guy. It's a stretchy bracelet. These are black onyx and vertebrae. Oh, so I can keep it in this segment. It's got vertebrae. So yeah, Little skull, pretty much will fit anybody. Uh, I'm a, like I said, probably that would be good for a seven. You could even push it and do an eight, I think, on that. So, yay. Hold on. Necklaces are coming up next. All right, you guys. 
These are made with Hill Tribe Silver Clasp. Let me say it again, it's a higher count silver and it does, one of the reasons I use it is it doesn't tarnish as quickly. Also, it's better quality. They're handmade, which keeps in keeping with what I do. This piece right here, again, there will be still shots after I'm done talking, or actually I'll do still shots in between each piece, but this is a pearl piece with Powa Shell, Swavarsi Crystals, uh, and Hill Tribe Silver. The clasp is a easy, easy hook clasp. It's a really beautiful piece. What click is that? Oh, my pen. So that's about where it would sit on you. Again, I will have all the measurements, all the stone information on the still live shot. So there's that piece. We have, oh, this is a cool piece. This is a hand napped. You see the cross in there? Let me see. You see the cross that's been cut inside the stone? Really cool piece. I had two of these, different stones, but this one's made with Savarsky Crystal, Fancy Jasper, and Hill Tribe Silver. Pretty, pretty. <laughs> When I'm traveling, I always try and pick up stones or mementos and I will turn them into jewelry. That way you're getting a one-of-a-kind piece. These are all genuine stones, one-of-a-kind pieces. So many of you know that I married a drummer who also plays guitar. This is a guitar pick, a stone guitar pick that I have wire wrapped onto a necklace. I'm not sure what the stones are. I can't tell while the light's shining in my face. This one does not have a Hill Tribe Silver clasp. It's got the surgical steel stuff. So, um, I, but again, very easy, easy clasp to use. I think I had made this for a man in mind. John loves these. This is why I can say this is a killer clasp. It doesn't tarnish. It won't cause skin irritation because this is what I always make for John's. He's, don't, don't do the little clasp. I can't ever work them, so. That's my mighty clasp right there. It's a double-stranded uh, denim sodalite necklace, and it's made with Swarovski crystals, Powa shells, and Czech fired glass. So really cool, unique kind of piece. I was kind of, I always go for the whole time-consuming, intricate, detailed stuff. It's a pyrite skull with crystals. We've got tiger's eye, and it's mounted on a jasper leaf. Isn't that cool? If you're feeling your rock and roll. Walk with me into the morning rain. I want to feel the light. I want to find the peace of mind. I made a really neat choker with purple druzy agates, crystals, and Swarovski crystals. This clasp is actually just a loop. You see the loop there? And you fit this bead through that loop and it locks it shut. It's my hippie necklace. I was kind of into chokers and crystals at the time. So really cool summer piece. Another skull with blue agate. Really beautiful blue if you're into like blue skies. And I kind of wanted to capture like the Caribbean water kind of feel. It's got a hook clasp that is Hill Tribe Silver. The medallion, the skull, was actually Reku pottery, again from Peru, handmade. So supporting not just one artist, but several artists. And I love this piece. It's bamboo coral with onyx and carnelian with silver. Little onyx teardrops. Really cool piece. Love this piece. My fun piece. It's little fishies. 
It's kind of a jasper, and um, I put, it's a unique, I was messing around with uh, ways to do different kinds of closures. So you have the hole, you just wrap it around, and you put your little fish through the hole, like so. I close my eyes when I do this, it just somehow makes it easier. <laughs> I'm seeing it in my Zen mind. And then you wrap it through. This is actually a piece of jade that stops it from going anywhere. But yeah, so nice little cool, cool little necklace there. But um, I don't know why I close my eyes. <laughs> anyway. So those are the necklaces. I can't believe it. Are we at the end? Oh. Into your eyes, I see hope, but I feel so alone. World seems lost these days. We're just trying to go, but we seem lost always.